Hi, welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Tupperwein. Modern military strategy focuses less on classic battlefield tactics and more on house-to-house -house urban warfare strategies. Being in such close quarters during battles has made a soldier's job more dangerous. In today's episode, we'll show you robot designs that reduce soldiers' risk in the field. I'm Vince Penman. Fighting a counterinsurgent battle is a difficult and dangerous task. Oftentimes, enemy soldiers are indistinguishable from civilians, and they operate in non-traditional areas like neighborhoods and walled compounds. Knowing who is around what corner and what areas are secure can be next to impossible. This reality was one of the driving forces behind the development of the Throbot XT robot designed by Recon Robotics. We spoke with Casey Carlson, product management engineer at Recon Robotics, about the features that their robots provide to soldiers to reduce their risk in combat zones. Casey told us that most large military robots need a specialized support staff to be developed in the field. Most of these robots weigh more than 30 pounds and take a long time to deploy. That isn't an option for missions that require split-second reactions to situations. To better suit a force that requires hair trigger responses, the Throbot XT was engineered so that it could be instantly deployed by being thrown into an area to provide immediate video reconnaissance. Properly designing a robot that could perform this type of entry presented four design constraints. The robot had to be tough, maneuverable, it had to see in all lighting conditions, and it had to be easily controlled. To ensure that the mechanical and electrical systems of the Throbot XT could withstand being thrown without breaking on impact, Casey's team selected materials that were lightweight and durable. After selecting a resilient polyurethane for the robot's wheels, the team chose to reinforce the body with a titanium shell. The team also understood that once the robot reached its destination, it wouldn't always be moving along flat, even surfaces. To ensure that the Throbot XT would be agile enough to roll and climb over obstacles and clothing, the team turned their attention to the robot's wheel design. After a few iterations, Casey's team chose a forward-facing claw pattern for the wheels. The shape and height of these claws allow the robot to grasp edges and surfaces that approach the full height of the wheel and enable the robot to traverse on varied obstacles and terrain. With the problems of delivery and movement solved, Recon Robotics engineers started integrating a dynamic optical system that could react to the shifting light conditions in an environment. Throbot XT uses light sensors to sense darkness and infrared emitting diodes to automatically turn on to light a scene during darkness. These emitters are visible on the handheld monitor, yet invisible to the naked eye. The final aspect of the Throbot XT's design might have been the most critical. After the robot was deployed, it needed to be easily and intuitively controlled and immediately responsive to commands. To make the remote control as simple and user-friendly as possible, designers used the least amount of complexity possible, making the user interface simply a video screen and a single joystick. By creating a simple remote operation, the Scout XT became intuitive. Teaching soldiers how to use their robot takes fewer than five minutes. Since 2007, Recon Robotics has delivered 3,700 of these robots to the U.S. military and more than 500 to local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies around the world. In 2012, Recon Robotics introduced Throbot XT with audio capabilities that enabled eavesdropping during high-risk operations. This was accomplished with no increase in the robot's weight and size. By carefully examining the conditions that soldiers most frequently face and building that reality into the Throbot XT's design, Recon Robotics created a system that was perfectly suited to the realities on the ground. To see Creo Parametric in action, the same software that Recon Robotics used to design their Throbot XT robot, go to ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. Thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.